My name is Scott Cleveland. I am the cattle production manager here at White Oak. I run about on average 2,800 head of cattle every day. Uh, we move our cows every single day uh, from paddock to paddock. We have it set up on about an average of a 30 acre paddock and that usually, usually handles the cows for a good 24 hours. Every morning I start off, first thing in the morning I drive through and check all the herds see what their forage looks like, see what their next paddock has in store for them. You need to keep an eye on not just, you know, what you've got to graze, but what you don't want graze. Uh, some species of weeds come up that are just not, you know, good for us. You know, with the clay count here, coffee weed comes up sometimes, and that's not something that we, you know, want to hammer down with cows eating on. So these are our tire trough setups for water. They're mining dump truck tires cut in half uh, we have set them up to where there's also a little redundancy if you notice that one side is set up with a float and then there's also a dummy pop set up that allows us to drain it also allows us to swap over and put the plumbing in there if we have an issue redundancy is something we try to do very well out here we've learned from past mistakes that not having something in place when something's wrong will always end up causing you a bigger headache. So these are coming back from blue troughs that you buy at any John Deere place. They work perfectly fine as long as the pressure's there and the volume's there for the amount of cows you're running. With us and the amount of cows we run, things would happen, they would break the pipe, and then the blue troughs would end up being rolled up into a big old ball of torn up trash just wasn't really cost effective at $400 a piece. Now these are a little more expensive to put in, but if you pre-plan, we run our water so that it's set up, not just for cattle, but so that sheep or goats can come in and hook up with quick disconnects, hogs, anything of that nature. We try to pre-plan for if we're gonna have a different type, style animal in here. We also have redundancy as in natural watering systems with ponds, canals. Uh, if something goes wrong here and it takes hours to fix, six hours these cows being thirsty, doesn't matter how much pressure or water volume I've got here, they're gonna have to have a natural source so that they can all drink at one time, which is the reason this these paddocks are set up this way. This one water trough system here put in will feed nine paddocks all the way around. and if you're gonna get the most bang for your buck on money, that's the way to do it. Come on. Good boy. Okay. This big herd here behind us is probably our biggest herd with about a thousand mamas and their calves, probably somewhere around 800 calves at this moment. Uh, they may go through a paddock in a day and we may move them more than one time. We try to make life as easy as for us and cost efficient by running water systems that is in one place but supplies water from more than one paddock. My main day every day is first starting off and getting each individual fence hot for the paddocks they're moving in, uh, checking gates, checking the, uh, what the kilovolts are on the fence. You don't want a fence that's not hot and then get used to pushing up on a fence. So that means maintaining, getting any forage off of the fence. Uh, we try to use animal impact on that as well. Uh, it's why we like our three strand fences on the interior so that the cows can eat under the edge of them. And also if I need be, I can lift each bottom wire up and uh, we can bring in goats and have goats clear our fences. Just makes life easier for us. We keep four separate herds here. Uh, the big herd, our winter calving herd, we have our summer herds, which are in two separate places just due to landlock. And then we have a bull herd, uh, which is a fully intact 
uh, bull herd and they are used for breeding or production purposes. Hey, Miss Lindsay. Every day is a different day out here. Like I said, for the most part, we our main concern is getting the cows fed and checking the health of the cows, but then you have water infrastructure, fence infrastructure. There's just so many things to making a farm this size run and keeping and maintaining.